Johnny Fish here from Elhead Whiskey Snobs. Just me, good old Ryan out on tour. Probably down in Florida by now. I just wanted to hop on here and give you five of my favorite bourbons. They're under 50 bucks. But first of all, the one that started it off for me was good old Buffalo Trace. You get down about 25, 30 bucks. First time I got that, I was a cab driver. At my fare at the time, took him to the liquor store. That's what he gave me as a tip. Next one on the agenda, good old Jim Beam Black Seven Year. He could damn about $25. My neck to wood. It's pretty good, man. We kill off about half that bottle the first time. Kind of savoring a little bit. Even though it's cheap, relatively available. Our next good favorite one, it costs about $35, $38. Good old Green River. Introduced to that thing about seven months ago when I got invited to go do a burrow pick. I had to get up to date on old Green River, so I bought me a, a bourbon and a weeded. Blinded them. The bourbon one came out on top. So I'm still waiting for that barrel pick to come out. Should be soon. It coming, I'll let you know. The next one's about $35, $40 as well. Can't beat good old Knob Creek 9. Straight up out of Jim Beam. That's some good stuff. Lots of oak, caramel, and vanillas. Good stuff here. The hardest part about this, taking the damn lid off. And a final one coming still from Jim Bean. Cost about $25. Uh, first time I grabbed this one was on a whim. About knocked our socks in the dirt. That's all right. That's good shit. Good old, old granddad 114. So there you have it. Just real quick, want to drop off five of my favorites for under 50 bucks. Good old 114, some Knob Creek 9, good old Green River, Jim Beam 7, well, Jim Beam Black 7 year, and good old Buffalo Trace. What's some of your five under 50 bucks? Remember, I'm Johnny Fish, and I'll do what I want. Cheers. That's good shit.